Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. No, you're not crazy. There was an earthquake late last night in Salina County, Kansas. At 9.30 p.m. on a quiet Monday night, the ground beneath the small farming community of Gibson, Kansas, gave a brief but unmistakable shudder. I've been reporting these earthquakes that have been happening in Kansas for a while now. USGS has reported a magnitude 3.7 earthquake centered just four miles west-southwest of Salina, rattling dishes, waking sleeping dogs, and rising people out of their beds. Here's one report that was on X, formerly known as Twitter. Call me crazy, but I think we just had a decent-sized earthquake in Salina, Kansas. One report that was sent into EMSC, thank you very much for sending your reports to them. They said that they were lying on their bed, and honestly, my bed started shaking in my lamps. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think they were surprised too. Stick with me, and I'm going to dive into what's causing these earthquakes, many that you probably didn't even know you had. Hi, everyone. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you very much for joining me. Please like, and I humbly ask you to subscribe. And please share. 117 people so far have sent in reports to USGS Did You Feel It website. They gave it an intensity level of 5, which means it was moderate, felt by nearly everybody. Many people were awoken. Some dishes, windows uh, may have broken. Did they fall out of your covers? Did anything fall off your walls? Please put those comments down below. Unstable objects turned over. Did you have anything fall? If you had a pendulum clock, that may have stopped working. Here's a map of some of the reports that were sent in to USGS. Let's see, we got as far as St. Joseph, which was 271 kilometers to the east, which is 164 miles. Yeah, that's a long ways. And then looks like to the south. 159 kilometers so that was 98 miles and that was intensity level three let's see uh, was that wichita plus wichita closer to the epicenter intensity level four 13 reports there another five there by wilson lake there was um one report there intensity level two so that would be about, oh, 68 miles. I believe there is a fault line that runs through there. This earthquake that happened last night was probably the largest they've had there in at least a year. You can see we got uh, 2021, a magnitude 3.6. And then a little bit farther south, let's see, a 3.5 that was revised to a 3.1 that was on December 21st of 2023. Kansas is more acquainted to tornadoes than tectonic rumbles. The quake was rare, um, yet it hardly was Kansas first. The events adds another pin to the map that has grown noticeably busier, busier excuse me, over the past decade. Here you can see uh, 2021, there was a magnitude 4.3. That also was in December, on December 8th of 2021. This earthquake struck at a shallow depth about 5 kilometers or 3 miles, which explains why it was felt so widely despite its moderate um, shaking. Some of the people that sent in reports said it felt like a rumble of a large truck passing by or a heavy truck slamming into the house, followed by a low rumble that lasted maybe three to five seconds. Those in Wichita reported um, light or weak shaking. There hasn't been any reports of structural damage, but if you did have things that fell off the walls or things that toppled over and broke or cracks in your plaster, let me know. Put those comments down below. People here in the community would really love to 
um, see your reports. This earthquake would be considered an intra-plate earthquake. It sits hundreds of miles from the nearest plate boundary, yet it's not immune to earthquakes. The gypsum quake um, is linked to ancient cracks in the Earth's crust that date back more than 300 million years. And most likely the culprit is a subsidiary fault within the Numa Numaha fault zone. I've talked about that. Let me bring this out because I do have, I believe, yeah, over here. Yeah, I got some of the really ancient faults drawn out. Let me take the roads off for you. Yeah, see these different faults? Yeah, with the weakening of the Earth's magnetic field and solar flares. Yeah, there was two X flares within 24 hours. That can put stress upon the Earth and create these earthquakes. Let me go back to where that earthquake occurred. That would be down over here. Okay. Many people don't realize that coronal mass ejections on the sun do cause earthquakes here on Earth. It's just an example of why people need to be repaired. I reported about the magnitude 7 earthquake they had in Japan. And I saw a video of two people trying to um, stabilize their flat screen TV so it wouldn't fall off and break. Well, they do make straps to bolt your TVs to the walls. I mean, it's a cheap 15-minute fix, if that at all. Um, yeah, people should do things like that to stabilize their furniture. Heavy bookshelves, um, your hot water heater to um, the frame of the house. And they sell museum putty or just regular putty to put on the bottom of your knickknacks so they don't go flying up. And, you know, your little treasures don't get broken. A lot of people don't realize, too, if there is a large earthquake, do not get in the doorway. The doorways do not hold up buildings. Um, you could lose a finger, break a hand when the door swings. So they're now telling people, do not get in doorways. Many people probably do not realize that Kansas has had over 80 earthquakes so far just this year. The trend is unmistakable. For an area that once never had earthquakes. Um, but if you do have earthquakes, um, are you prepared? Do you have video, maybe from a ring camera or a security camera, of the shaking? If so, please post it and share a link with the community. Gibson has a population of about 400 people. So I imagine there, um, some of the local restaurants. This morning, it'll be the talk around the tables. Oh, in a week or so, yeah, the conversation will fade. But it is a reminder. People need to be earthquake prepared. So if you did feel this earthquake, no, you're not crazy. Yeah, and it, this area is capable of having large shakers. So what are your thoughts? Please put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.